How are you doing folks? It's Joe Volley here for Cold Bear Sports on Wednesday evening with four selections for tomorrow. There's a one each way double that I'm interested in and then two other singles who have their chances as well. So tomorrow hopefully it uh, should go well, I'll be hoping anyway. Obviously today went really well with the, for the service. I think that's three of my last four that's after winning now in the service. So obviously that's strike race, keep that going uh, it'll be happy days. Uh, my YouTube horse Hansenke ran poor. I don't know why he ran that poor. I thought it was a good price of seven to one last night, uh, and it was heavily supported. Well, you know, a good few quid for around four to one, nine to two at the off, but uh, just ran a lifeless race, never going at all. Uh, but obviously, it was important that uh, the first one won anyway. So um, yeah, all in all, you know, a good solid day, and hopefully uh, keep that going. You know, uh, so two thirty tomorrow, Ludlow horse by the name of Sakra Core. Now, definitely due a race. I remember uh, when she was trained by Charlie Mann. Charlie always thought a good bit of this one, but he couldn't get a race over for whatever reason. Uh, just a bit unlucky a few times, I suppose. Uh, definitely, uh, when you look at the her last run, uh, very decent run indeed. And definitely uh, with Jamie, Jamie uh, Brace taking off seven. Uh, you know, he's a good capable jockey. He's rode a winner before. And... Uh, I expect her to be banged there. She's priced up around seven to two, nine to two. Uh, definitely worth a point win. I think it's a competitive race. There's no doubt about that. But I think every chance there, Sacra Core, uh, should be banged there. I think, uh, in the two thirty at Ludlow and the following race, the two thirty eight at Taunton, Groom de Dares travel like an absolute dream last time. Run just flattened out a little bit. I'd be a bit worried about that, but all in all, I think uh, this uh, probably. Uh, probably a bit, a bit of a worse race. Might have bumped into one there uh, in judicial law the last time. And I expect if it runs the same way, uh, coming back from a break, you know, it's a, kind of a quick turnaround, but it sure didn't come off the bridle until after the last hurdle. So hopefully it didn't take too much of itself. And I think it might have too much for his rivals tomorrow. By policy maker, who obviously is the sire of Chachun Pochua. So if the ground does get on the soft side, it uh, shouldn't be any problem at all. I do expect this room the Darius to take all the beating priced up 11 to 8 so I'll go a point win and I want to do a point each way double as well so that's that correct core in the 230 Ludlow and the 238 Taunton groom the Darius they're they're pretty solid I think they should be there thereabouts the two of them now my next two are a bit more ambitious but uh, the prices would reflect that so in the four away to Taunton I'm going to go for a horse by the name of Trickster uh, this not seems to be around forever but he's still only a nine year old now Maybe he's not as good as he was, but uh, his handicap mark has come down as a result. And I'd love to see uh, Charlie Price who's riding this lad tomorrow bounce him out in front because, you know, th they've been dropping him out and giving him acres to do. And he's been staying on at the one pace and all that. He is only uh, one pace, but, you know, the rest of them, there's no machines in this race. And, it, you know, he's priced up in one from a 12 to 1. He's in around uh, 8, 8 to 1, 10 to 1, 12 to 1. I think it's a nice price. Now, there probably will be a non-runner. Uh, horse that ran today so to be one to be definitely be another runner to be ruled for it but still in all if he was like seven or eight to one tomorrow or you know might be a bit more who knows i and uh the pop him out in front i think you know he could be a big player Dro uh, dropping a grade the whole time dropping in the weights uh, has a chance there trickster uh, won't really mind very uh, adaptable versatile ground wise so I'll give it a chance to point each way. Tim Vaughan had a horse run today uh, at Linkfield, ran quite well. So, a uh, horse is maybe coming back into form. And then the 330 at Ludlow, a horse by the name of Pecana. Very solid horse for Martin Keatley. Uh, you know, jumps and stays. I'd be a bit worried about the favourite uh, technologi technological, sorry, no, <laughs> rap pronunciation. But um, the last time when he ran the favourite, uh, there was only. Four hurdles uh, to be jumped because of the low sun and all that. There was a lot of hurdles uh, taken away. And the hurdles that he did jump, he wasn't great over. So he's a very inexperienced horse uh, with the hope that uh, all the hurdles will be in tomorrow. Uh, he might just struggle a little bit. The Mickey Henderson horse off a mark of 120. He's done nothing that I can see to prove that kind of a mark yet anyway. And he looks a big chance in type for the future. Uh, but uh, all in all, uh, Picana, who... As I said, solid horse, does well. Ovi's grade last time struggled, but uh, back in Cam Cammer Waters now tomorrow, and in around three or four to one, worth a point win. So th that's basically it uh, for tomorrow. 
Uh, four horses there, two of them, as I say, the first two uh, nice chances, and the rest of them, and the other two there, you know, bits of chances, and hopefully it'd be nice if one or two of them won. But that's it, Joe Value. Ni uh, nice to get the, the winner on the service today, obviously, with uh, last trial. Hopefully, keep that strike rate going now, moving forward. There's plenty of notebook horses. You have to be studying, putting the hard work in, getting these horses in the book, and then when it comes to the race like today, where it's running against absolute dirt, uh, that's when you plow in. And get the results. So I'd say hopefully we can keep that going now and the bad luck is behind us. It's Joe Value for Cold Bear Sports. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All the best. Take care.